from the people that bring you the Death Nut Challenge. Blazing Foods also brings you habanero chili lime sunflower seeds. Blazing Foods will Brent be able to handle these habanero chili lime sunflower seeds? Or will he crumble? <laughs> Find out today on this episode of Brent Eats Heat. Guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Brent Eats Heat with me, Brent Underwood. Today we're trying the habanero chili lime sunflower seeds from Blazing Foods. So, um, I'm going to try to read these ingredients. This is actually the fourth time that I'm going to try to read these. As an anti-caking and habanero powder. Now, I've had chili, uh, Carolina Reaper, to another episode of Brain Eats Eat. Today, we're trying the habanero. <laughs> As an anti-caking agent and habanero pepper. I messed it up again. Habanero powder. Powder. Okay. <laughs> sunflower seeds, of course. I mean, it's habanero chili. I have sunflower seeds. So there's sunflower seeds in it. Spice, sea salt, chili pepper, red bell pepper, lime juice powder. Citric acid, rice concentrate as an anti caking agent, and habanero powder. They sound really good. Um, I'm not going to lie, I, I watched an episode of Chase the Heat with Johnny Scoville, and they had tried these. Jo actually, Johnny reviewed these. There's another video where him and two of his buddies <clears throat> uh, tried them out, but I want to. Just add on something that Johnny Scoville said about this product here. He says, as you're eating them, the heat rises. But once you stop eating them, it just plummets. Uh, I want to add to that. So with habanero peppers or any kind of peppers, as you eat them, sometimes they're a slow build. And the longer you wait, the more the heat builds. Even after you're done eating the pepper, the heat still builds. He says when you stop eating these, the heat just plummets. Uh, I didn't get these for heat though. I got these for flavor to see what they're all about. They sound really good. Chili lime sunflower seeds, habanero. I mean, this is Brent Eats Eat. So hopefully this is a good snack. Something uh, I might want to repurchase again. I think I paid $8.99 for this. And I got this from the VAT19 website. I know you can also get it from BlazingFoods.com. Or maybe even Chase the Heat uh, website. So, let's get started. Mmm. Those are good. <clears throat> Pretty good. Heat's building a little bit, but nothing crazy. Really good flavor. That's a good sunflower seed right there. These are the t this is the type of snack that you that can become very addictive real quick. Decent amount of heat if you're a chili head. I mean, we live for this kind of stuff. Great flavor. The uh, 
the the citric acidity uh, the the citric the lime juice powder really does it the habanero powder good stuff I've never tried or had habanero powder. The closest thing to that I have is the Carolina Grim Reaper powder. Now this stuff is insane. But I could see my, and I put this on a lot of stuff. I, I sprinkle it on pizza, cheeseburgers. Might look into getting some habanero powder in the future. Um, I love habaneros. Great flavor, decent heat. If you're not used to heat, habanero is one of the, in my opinion, one of the best peppers to get started on in a, in a, in a heat building journey that, that you might decide to have at some point in your life. Who knows? For me, I waited till I was 40, till I got involved into the hot stuff. But this is a great product. Decent heat, great flavor. I recommend this. This is brand easy to prove. Well, guys, that's it. If you've enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate your subscription. Before I jump off of here, I want to thank all the new subscribers and all the subscribers that's been here since day one. We're about 19 subscribers away from hitting 500. Until next time, guys, I love each and every one of you.